to the heated debate over the shooting of a high school student in Nevada. He had a knife. Students were terrified all around him. The 14-year-old boy is seen on camera swinging that large knife, threatening classmates critically wounded by a school officer. ABC's Matt Gutman reports tonight there are growing questions. Did the officer have any other options? Kid. Tonight, as Reno police investigate a school resource officer's shooting of this knife-wielding teen. Bro, he just shot the kid. The 14-year-old's family is saying what you see here wasn't a thwarted lone wolf attack, but a case of self-defense gone wrong. This should have been a situation that was obviously subject to control by non-lethal means. The family saying the 14-year-old was a troubled boy with special needs. You had a very mentally unhinged student attempting to keep people away from him by swinging knives in the air. His father posting on Facebook that his son was merely defending himself against bullies. As the boy slashes at the air, lunging at students, you can hear voices yell, back up. Seconds later, that officer fires. Today, the school superintendent commending the response. Those plans worked flawlessly. The boy's attorney says that he could suffer brain damage and lose a lung from that shooting. Now, the Reno Police Department tells me that that officer, at the time of the shooting, did have multiple non-lethal options available to him. David. Matt Gutman, thank you.